Dr. Janine Krauss here, and today I'm going to talk about habits that might be causing your abdominal bloating. Now, some of these might be duh factors, but it's always a great reminder to go back through these and rule out these as causes of your bloating. First and foremost, a lot of us eat too fast. Maybe we have two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes on our way from one appointment to the other to eat. Guess what? We should be taking our time to eat. Why? Because if you inhale that Jimmy John's, guess what goes with that? A bunch of air and big particles of food. So for every bite that you take, every single bite that you take, you need to chew at least 25 times. Meals should take about a half hour. Now I know what you're thinking. I only have a 15 minute lunch or a half hour. Holy cow, what would I do with that? Well, Trust me, you will feel a heck of a lot better and you're going to be quite nice to your digestive system if you are chewing more to help it out. Now, the other big thing that we often tend to do is that we drink too much liquids with a meal. So what that does is dilute all of our digestive enzymes. Now, on top of that, in the U.S. here, we might also have a big old glass of ice water, which is digestive suicide per se. Why? Because that ice, just like if you put ice on your skin, it numbs your whole stomach. And so it's not going to be very effective at breaking down food. So later on, you might feel like you have a gut bomb or you might end up with a little burping. You might end up with even more bloating. You might end up with some other issues like diarrhea. Another issue that you can have is you might be talking while you're eating. Let's face it. Most of us don't like to eat alone. And so sometimes we have a friend or we're on the cell phone. Anytime you're talking and eating, you're sucking in air. Guess where that air goes? Goes in and it's got to come out some way. It's going to cause bloat or it's going to come out the other way or this way. So then you won't be too fun at a party at that case. Now the next thing is smoking or vaping in that case. You're sucking in air. That air has to go somewhere. If you like to suck on hard candy, that can also cause issues and cause some more bloating for you. Fizzy drinks. So, of course, we all know soda is not the best option. And so a lot of us turn to sparkling waters and things of that nature. Those are carbonated just as much. Those could be causing some of your bloating as well. Dentures. If you have dentures, make sure that you've got that gel in there to tighten those guys up. The looser the dentures are, the more you're sucking on a little bit of air. Another biggie is alcohol. Sugar alcohols, which you find in some of our sugar-free candies, can cause a lot of gastric irritation, but also alcohol from just drinking. That can also cause some bloating. So keep that in mind. If you're drinking alcohol and eating a meal, take your time. Savor every bite to as much as you possibly can. That way, the meal will last longer and fair. You'll have a longer enjoyment there of that dinner, and it'll be even better for you in the long run. So one big thing to think about in that case is that alcohol definitely does cause some bloating. Now, the last thing is, of course, the duh factor. Beans, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, all that farty food. That stuff can, yes, cause some issues. So the big thing to remember is that if you have issues with those foods, eat them in moderation. You can actually change your way that your digestive system breaks down things such as beans, cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. You can eat a tablespoon a day for about two weeks, and then you're good to go. You can start to up the amount. Now, the average serving for these farty foods is about a half a cup. If you go over that in a sitting, you're going to have some trouble. Pair that with eating too fast, and now you've got digestive suicide. So let's just sum it up. Make sure to chew your food, take your time chewing your food, and enjoy your meals so that you don't have as much bloating. Drink water, drink other types of liquid, but drink it at room temperature and drink it sparingly throughout a meal. Save it for before or a short while afterwards. This is Dr. Janine Krauss. You've watched my video on how to prevent bloating and all those habits that you might have that are causing your bloating. Have a great day.